everybody, my name's Tris, I'm the lead vocalist and guitarist in Detonator. So welcome to our channel, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button in the corner. And if you like the content in today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Today we're going to be talking about the TC Electronic Quintessence Harmonizer pedal. This is a video that I shot last week. Um, before we get into it, I just wanted to say that um, this isn't sponsored by TC Electronics or anybody else. Um, it's just for fun really. Just thought we'd share with you some knowledge about the pedal, give a bit of a metal demonstration. So if you've got any thoughts, please leave them in the comment section below. So yeah, hope you enjoy it. So today we're going to be talking about harmonizer pedals, or specifically one harmonizer pedal. That is the TC Electronic Quintessence Harmonizer. I only recently got this. Um, why did I get it? I was just interested to see what the possibilities were with the harmonizer pedal in terms of doing some dual lead stuff or you know making the solos pop a little bit more um so when i ordered it it came in this rather nifty box um this isn't an unboxing but there you go you can see that was the box um tc electronic quintessence i think i'm saying that right quintessence uh quintessence and this is the beast there she is so, as you can see, you've got various different controls. Um, you've got the mix knob there, which controls, uh, essentially it controls the level of the duplicate guitar that's, that's playing the harmony. So you're playing, and then if you were to have it totally dry, that would just be your clean signal. If you'd have it uh, totally wet, that would be the, uh, the harmonized signal by itself. So generally, you you pretty much want this in the middle. One thing I have found is that it does make the output seem to uh, jump out a little bit louder when you've got it, uh, when you're using the pedal, when you engage it, um, which can almost then make the, the other lead passages you're doing without the pedal engaged almost seem a little bit quieter. So I haven't quite figured out a way around that yet. I did try putting it through the effects loop on the back of the amp. Um, and then running it at about minus 10 decibels didn't seem to make a huge amount of difference so what I've been doing for now is just reducing the mix level slightly so it's it's slightly leaning more towards dry uh, than it is wet um, obviously you can pick your key um, this guitar is half uh, half tone so it's semi tone down so it's in E flat we're in D and then you can pick sharp or or neutral so we're in D sharp if you know your music theory it helps a little bit I used to know your music theory pretty well it's up there somewhere uh, some of it's just gone but uh, and then you pick your scale so for the most part um, we're gonna be in aeolian minor scale there because it's heavy metal for it's not just a metal pedal you can obviously do anything with this really so you've got your dorian phrygian lydian mixed lydian um you know all all of that you can see they're all listed up there so and then of course you'd pick your harmony so um what we've got here is set to thirds usually in heavy metal not all the time obviously but usually it's a third that's in play you know just try to play the trooper engage that and you'll see what i mean um, but you've also got various other intervals you can see there. Um, and then there's the tone print. Uh, can you see where it says TP1, TP2, TP3? That is if you actually plug this into a computer. It com came with a USB, its own USB uh, cable. You plug it into your phone, plug it into a computer, and then you can actually design your own intervals. So. Uh, I haven't fully understood it yet because I'll be honest I couldn't get it to work but that's probably says more about me than it does the pedal um, but for some reason yeah I couldn't see my computer couldn't see the device but I've seen other people um, use it successfully so I need to play around with that more and see if I can get it working but amazing if you can actually create your own uh, tell the pedal ex exactly program it to do exactly what you want on a preset patch so it's got a fairly robust little stumper on it um, which you want obviously because you're going to be you know stomping on it on stage um, and it's pretty generally feels a pretty robust pedal you know it feels like it could 
you take your weight. Now, unlike some pedals that feel, well, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I feel like I'm gonna break them. Um, it's also got this curious feature where it's actually sensitive. So if you press harder, it actually bends the pitch up a semitone. Um, I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna use that, but pretty cool that it can do that. I guess. Um, you can also have it set to latch or, or moment essentially. So if you latch, it's essentially bypass on or off. If you have it set to moment, um, what it is, it will only engage when you press the pedal, and then when you release, um, it will disengage. I think I've got personally enough to be going on with uh, between switching between different channels and stuff and then working the mic as well so um, I don't think I'm going to be using that but it could be quite handy if you just wanted a quick you know and then take your foot off so yeah we're going to be uh, getting into this a little bit more now so there is the pedal board um, and you can see there is the TC electronic uh, quintessence in there on the end like I say normally if you're running it through a proper proper amp, proper rig, or would have it on its own channel on the effects loop. And then my distortion tonight is provided by the Metal Planet by Rocktron. Um, had this pedal for years, just literally just use it with practice amps, got this old Laney practice amp, uh, which God knows how old that is, it's probably older than me. Um, but that is providing the gain. So, um, you yeah, know, fair play, it's good for the bedroom. I've actually still got the box to that, funnily enough. So if anyone knows, if anyone actually out there owns one of these, um, then tell me. I've never met anyone who's heard of a Rocktron by, you know, the Metal Planet. Anyway, getting sidetracked. So, yeah, I'm going to set up, and then we're going to just play around with this pedal a bit. Okay, here we go. So this is pedal off. <laughs> Also do that little nifty thing I was talking about where you, you press harder and it shifts it so have a listen out for that maybe that'll be better if I actually showed you the foot action signal So there you have it, the uh, Quintessence Harmonizer. I've not used any other harmonizers really, so maybe my opinion is uh, a little bit moot or biased, but uh, I think it, it's done exactly what I wanted it to do. Uh, I think there's still more features to explore about it. Um, 
and it, it seems to track what you're doing really well so it doesn't matter how fast you're playing the pedal always seems to keep up and it does sound to me as close as I can imagine to two guitars playing tightly together um, obviously you know you're never going to get that expression of, of human element that comes when you've got two actual players but um, in terms of just harmonizing the lead part or passage you want to play I think this does a pretty awesome job so it's a thumbs up from me um, and we'll have a look next time at doing some other bits of gear uh, I'm desperate to show you my Laney Ironheart amp at some point I know other people have done rundowns on the Ironheart but I feel like it takes a while to get to grips with the Ironheart so um, we can explore that um, in more detail next time you know once you understand the amp you can kind of unlock it a bit better um, so yeah thanks for watching guys remember to subscribe check out all our music videos all our content uh, we're going to be uploading a lot more stuff um, throughout the year okay and uh, happy Halloween see you guys next time